With its 24th mission, Blue Origin has reached yet another significant milestone in the race towards space exploration. The New Shepard rocket began its space voyage with a successful launch that took place in the wide sky above West Texas. Let's dive deeper. The crew capsule and booster parted ways in midair, dancing in unison with the universe as the countdown reached its final seconds. It was breathtaking to watch New Shepard take off and reach a maximum height of about 66 miles on the video, which began at 2544. At precisely 33 o'clock, the reusable booster gracefully descended and stood erect once more on Earth leaving one speechless at the flawless orchestration of technology. After sampling the vaporous world of space, the crew capsule used parachutes to fall gently, capping its heavenly dance. First scheduled for December 18, 2023, this successful mission experienced a brief setback as Blue Origin, always devoted to safety, made its way through freezing weather and ground issues. The committed personnel worked quickly to troubleshoot and made sure that everything was operational for this amazing journey. The payload on this space expedition is what really gives it a personal touch. 33 payloads were launched into space during the NS-24 mission, with a sizable amount coming from NASA funds. Academic establishments too enjoyed a time in the cosmos as their payloads joined the heavenly caravan. A great surprise was the 38,000 postcards from school children around the globe that were included, transforming this quest into a global celebration of wonder and curiosity. It is noteworthy that this success follows a brief break caused by the unanticipated end of the NS-23 mission more than a year ago. During that voyage, Blue Origin experienced a booster failure that prompted an extensive inquiry by the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. According to the report, the cause was structural failure of an engine nozzle caused by higher-than-expected engine operating temperatures. As a result, the FAA ordered 21 corrective steps which is evidence of the strict safety regulations maintained in the space exploration industry. Blue Origin carried out these remedial measures, which included redesigning some engine and nozzle parts, as part of their unwavering dedication to excellence. The outcome was a faultless NS-24 mission that confirms Blue Origin's tenacity and inspires trust in the company's rigorous safety protocols. Although Blue Origin has already brought humans into space, this mission's accomplishment moves them one step closer to their ambitious objective of opening up space to a wider audience. The successes and failures of every mission add to the developing story of human space travel, and with each launch, Blue Origin takes us closer to a time when more people will be able to experience the glories of space. During an interview on Lex Fridman's podcast, visionary entrepreneur and former CEO of Amazon Jeff Bezos offered his thoughts on Blue Origin's future. After leaving his position at Amazon a few years ago, Bezos gave a strong explanation for his resignation. Blue Origin required more speed. Bezos expressed his involvement in spearheading the drive, demonstrating a strong commitment to bringing energy and urgency to his space exploration endeavor. He underlined, Blue Origin needs me right now, underscoring the crucial moment the business was in. Beyond just speed, Bezos wants Blue Origin to become the most influential business in the world, regardless of sector. This lofty objective depends on cultivating a culture that values taking calculated technology risks and acting quickly. Bezos emphasized the value of audacity in these undertakings as well as a corporate culture that fosters and supports technical ambition. To realize this bold goal, he believes it is essential to build a team that is not only driven but also ready to act quickly on decisions. Blue Origin is still making progress in the field of space exploration, as seen by its most recent launch. The spacecraft reached an amazing height of about 66 miles after the booster blasted off successfully. The three minutes that passengers spent feeling weightless at this altitude are a credit to Blue Origin's spacecraft's technological capability. The parachutist-assisted drop to Earth that followed demonstrated the company's dedication to a safe and regulated re-entry. Blue Origin's space missions are increasingly characterized by dependability and reusability as demonstrated by the booster's smooth landing on its assigned pad. Notably, this successful launch confirmed Blue Origin's proficiency and experience in space travel as it was the company's 24th space mission with its new Shepard spacecraft. The fact that six of these trips have carried human passengers is even more noteworthy because it demonstrates Blue Origin's commitment to developing commercial space tourism. When Blue Origin's CEO Bob Smith announced his resignation in September 2023, the firm had to go through a major leadership change. 
Smith left a lasting impact, having been instrumental in turning Blue Origin from a research and development company into a profitable enterprise. Jeff Bezos looked to Dave Limp, a reliable confidant from his time at Amazon, to fill this leadership vacancy. Limp became CEO of Blue Origin after managing several popular initiatives at Amazon, such as Kindle, Alexa, and the Kuiper Internet Satellite Network. An era came to an end with Smith's departure, and Bezos' calculated choice to hire Limp demonstrated his dedication to momentum maintenance and continuity. Having led creative initiatives at Amazon in the past, Limp was ideally positioned to lead Blue Origin into its next stage of expansion. This change represented Blue Origin's continued development, from a startup to a more established, profit-driven organization. Following his departure from Amazon, Jeff Bezos' involvement in Blue Origin has given the business a fresh sense of direction and urgency. His audacious goal of turning Blue Origin into the most significant business globally demonstrates his dedication to technology development and fosters a culture that encourages taking risks. Blue Origin's tenacity and adaptability are demonstrated by its recent successful launch and leadership turnover, which will no doubt help to influence space exploration's future. During the time of Jeff Bezos' leadership, Blue Origin expanded significantly. The company established offices in Huntsville, Alabama, and built a large manufacturing complex close to Cape Canaveral in Florida. Notwithstanding this growth, the business encountered internal issues that were described in a Washington Post story from 2021, in which staff members expressed worries about an unfavorable work environment. There were reported instances of unrest and a poisonous culture, which had an adverse effect on the business's operating efficiency and reduced confidence in its management. Notably, SpaceX won a significant contract with the firm in 2021, impeding its plans to construct a spacecraft for NASA astronauts. There was a significant pricing disparity revealed by the bid competition. SpaceX won the contract with a cost of $2.9 billion, while Blue Origin offered $6 billion. This failure aligned with Bezos' emphasis on Amazon, which had emerged as an important asset amid the COVID-19 outbreak. But Bezos has been more involved with Blue Origin since leaving his position as CEO of Amazon in 2021, citing it as the most important work he is doing. Bezos's suborbital voyage to space in July 2021 on board, New Shepard's first human spaceflight mission served as another evidence of his personal commitment. His dedication to Blue Origin was strengthened by this encounter, which raised awareness of the business. Recent events show progress, such as United Launch Alliance receiving B-4 engines to propel its Vulcan rocket, which is set to make its first flight on January 8, 2024. As part of NASA's Artemis program, this mission seeks to deploy a robotic spacecraft to the moon's surface. In addition, Blue Origin has obtained contracts, including one for $34.7 million to design a lunar lander for NASA and another for the construction of solar cells and transmission cable from Lunar Regolith. According to the company's plan, a reusable spaceship that travels back and forth between Earth and the Moon to refuel would remain in lunar orbit. Furthermore, Blue Origin is aggressively pursuing large-scale initiatives such as Blue Ring, an in-space infrastructure program enabling flexible cargo delivery inside Earth and lunar orbits, and Orbital Reef, a private space station designed to replace the International Space Station. Blue Origin has expanded and diversified within the space sector although it still hasn't completed any missions into Earth orbit. Bezos seemed upbeat about the New Glenn rocket's scheduled maiden launch from Cape Canaveral in 2024. New Glenn, which was once planned for 2020, has a sizable landing platform for heavy payloads and a reusable first stage, enabling a landing similar to that of a SpaceX Falcon 9. Nonetheless, Bezos acknowledged that he was incredibly anxious about the upcoming launch, highlighting the fact that anxiety is a normal response to a first launch. Blue Origin intends to carry out a further crewed flight of New Shepard, utilizing the knowledge gained from the earlier missions. After a detailed analysis of the most recent voyage, Erica Wagner, Blue's senior director for New Space Markets, expressed excitement for the next crew journey. The company's resolve to make a substantial contribution to space travel in the future is demonstrated by its dedication to conquering obstacles and expanding the frontiers of space research. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching our content, then do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to comment your thoughts below.